Spring is in the air and we're flower shopping right now for grandma. Yay, I don't know what the occasion is, but we're en route to grandma's for dinner and mother decided to surprise her with some nice flowers. Those so, are pretty. Very pretty and they're rather cheap too. Quite inexpensive. That's cool. So dinner at grandma's and then Leanna and possibly Eric are coming over to bake. Yay. Nutella banana squares with Nutella frosting. So that's going to be something spectacular to enjoy. Right now we are flower hunting. This is a... They're rather expensive. Look, $12.99 for those. Well, actually it's for the tray. Oh, the entire thing. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, see, I caught mine like three weeks $2. ago. Better selection. These are okay. Do you think she'll like these, Jay? I like the purple more. Yeah, so, okay, you're right. So she did ask for purple okay. and yellow, but the ones that I bought, they're all sold out. Oh. So I, are these similar? Yeah. Well, they're the same one, I yeah. think. There's a cat hiding next to the flowers. What are you doing here, kitty cat? Girl. Are you owned by the store? Or are you a stray? And so I venture down into the dark and scary basement of my grandma's. Ooh. Ooh. And here the mysteries lie of unspoken tales of ghosts and haunted things. Hey look, smart food, dun da la. I got the treasure. All right, you gotta go in this canteen. Ooh, it's quite a cold room in here because I got it. This is where they hoard all their, you know, safety stock. Tomato sauce for days on end. And look at all this uh, detergent up here. It's like rows on rows and aluminum foil and what was that? Uh, something, <laughs> SOS. And yeah, so I need to get a container to put some flour in. <laughs> How about, well I need to fit about five cups. This looks like something that could hold five cups. All right, ooh, look at these potatoes. Secret experiment going on, science experiment. Oh, all this water too. Well, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, going back upstairs. Hey guys, so we're baking. Hi. Hello. Hello, so let me just say the recipe. Banana, cookie bars, and tell butter cream ice cream. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, is that five cups? Did your mom measure it? Yeah, she measured everything too. So this is back of the flour total. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. So you guys are in charge of the drives, and right now I'm going to butter the sugar and the butters. So I think last time I didn't do it properly, but I think you're supposed to add the butter like slowly, then add the sugar. Sorry. Welcome to we are making banana cookies. Yes, cooking show with Eric and Leanna with the beautiful apron. Yeah, the guest. Featuring. So it's my cooking show featuring Leanna and Erica with my aunt and mom in the background. Doing whatever they're doing. Get the judges. Yeah. yeah, they'll be the judges, the taste testers of our beautiful banana squares. So, so of have course, we have the Nutella. Nutella. Final ingredient. And the butter. Of course, and the butter. And the, the one butter. egg. The one egg. The one egg. Um, you can make pussy cake. Yeah, what is this? What is this? That's the ingredient. Mmm, mush bananas. Yummy. Looks like bad oatmeal. Oatmeal gone bad. Bananas round two. Bananas round two. Yes. Oh, true. Yes. That's. <laughs> We, I recorded, we okay. made the banana bread last time. Alright, you guys get ready on that. And I shall do this. So we got Monica and, and Monica. Monica. <laughs> As she mixes this and we slowly add the drives. Alright, so Monica, how do you slowly start to add that to Monica's bowl? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Monica. Oh, no problem. I love being Monica. <laughs> you are Monica. So this is gonna give away. Okay, so we made our banana batter, but it looks a bit irregular. It's like clumps of tiny little, very thick, like the texture is very thick and doughy. Um, banana dough, it's like cookie dough in itself. So, let's hope when it bakes, it becomes something that looks like in the picture. Which is this. So, let's hope for the best, yo. So we'll put this into the parchment paper and then we'll ship it off into the oven. Okay, so here's our final product. Banana bread. But it doesn't look, it looks very brown and crusty. What do you think? Just the edges. I don't know, I don't know if it's supposed to be that hard. It's very like stiff. But 
Maybe when we eat a tin of the icing, I don't taste different. Sorry? Leanna, have a bite. Oh my god! <laughs> have a bite, well, it's red. <laughs> Everybody take a bite. Nah, nah, nah. But yeah, look, it practically looks like bread. Yeah. Like we just made it bread. Looks like biscotti. Are you cutting them too big, Mom? They're supposed to fit into these small little cups. Okay. Okay. There we go. Very appropriate. Thank you. Alrighty, time to ice these babies. Okay. Practicing your professional decorating skills. Can you do it in like a twirl? Those look like S's or dog poo. Alright, as long as it gets on, I guess. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's the best one right that there. That's pretty hard, though. Man. Yo, mom, these are so hard. Why are they so hard? That's what she said. Yeah, they look like <laughs> melted Hershey kisses. <laughs> and we still have leftover icing over here, but that's alright. They're not hard. Okay, now we're officially taste testing these. What's your it's thoughts? It's soft in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's soft in the middle? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me dig in. Ugh. I don't know, it just feels really hard on the soft. Yeah, you're right, actually. Mm -hmm. It's soft in the middle. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. That's good. They were put on the top rack. And they, remember when I made these two breads? I put them on the top rack. Mm -hmm. And they kind of turned brown really quickly. Mm -hmm. So, out of 10, what do you rate them? Hmm? Eight. 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 I'll think of that too. Eight point two. How about you? I would do eight too. Eight point two or eight as well. Eight as well. I'm not too crazy about them. I love. I like the banana taste to them, but I don't like the the denseness. I do. I would say like maybe a seven. I like them. I'll say seven point five. They are quite tasty though. They're dense, but that's okay. Seven point five, seven, eight, two, eight, and eight. It takes like eight for average. Yeah, it's a Seven point nine. Seven Yeah, give or take. How are we going to send them home? Some dumb. Oh, I know. Okay, so we dropped something behind the oven door there. And we're all like working in, trying to retrieve it. So we decided to unhinge the drawer from the rail. And we're all like struggling to kind of get it off the rail so that we could reach behind and get whatever's stuck back there. I accidentally dropped a wooden spoon that my mom was trying to use to get an aluminum plate. So now there's two objects stuck behind there and we're like, you know, five of us working together trying to fix this problem. So this is how we spend 11 p.m. on a Sunday night. Resign using my face for joining me again. <laughs> Some uh, hidden like treasure map. Yeah, like my mouth and a foil plate. Yeah, and my earrings. <laughs> get out of here. Are you serious? What are we doing? Trying to get... Any ideas, Erica? No, I'm just, I'm just watching. <laughs> Spectator. <laughs> Moral support. Yeah, you just get a card game. Dominating cards against humanity. Alright, baking's done. Great success. Didn't turn out how I imagined them to be. They are very hard. Um, and it almost had a very bread-like texture. And the the icing was very moussey. And I don't really like mousse because the texture is uh, very gaggy, I find. And it was very sweet. Two cups of frosting sugar. Or, I mean, icing sugar in that icing. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, as you can imagine, it was very sweet. But overall, it was fun to make. It tasted not half bad. So, alright. And tomorrow, I'm going downtown again with Leanne and Erica. We're going to go for lunch. And then we're going to do a little filming for a video I'm going to make. So yeah, oh, I'm so tired again, but great day. So uh, good night, and I shall see y'all tomorrow.